education, human services, our schools need to stay open. We've been advocating to release funding for six months. Governor Wolf took the unprecedented step of fully vetoing a budget on June 30th. We have voted four times since then to release funding, and Governor Wolf and his allies have opposed that every time. Before Christmas, we made sure that a budget arrived on the governor's desk that could release this funding, make sure that our schools can open on January 4th, and we applaud the governor for making the decision to say that we need to release funding. There is more work to do. There are disagreements that need to be worked out, but we're glad that the governor is today where we were six months ago, which is release the funding we can agree to and go back to the table and work on getting a full budget completed. It's important to address the crux of this six-month impasse, which has been proposed tax increases on the hardworking people of Pennsylvania. And contrary to what some of the sound bites say, these are taxes that would have landed squarely on every working family, every senior citizen, every citizen of the Commonwealth. These were income and sales tax increases that have been proposed that would be necessary to fund the governor's proposals to increase spending. We continue to advocate for a responsible budget that we can fund increased investment in core, uh, in core government services and do so without reaching further into the pocket of the citizens of Pennsylvania.